Jody, what has having facial paralysis and a brain tumor and people judging, what does that tell you about people judging? I think that it is very easy for us to judge instantly when we meet someone or even when we just see someone. We judge them based on our preconceived notions of what we think life should look like and whether or not they meet those expectations. And especially in a world that's so heavy into social media and looks and appearances and creating the image that you want, I think it's really easy for us to just make those snap judgments. But I think it's actually kind of dangerous to do that because we all have stories behind the cover of the book. And often the cover that we're seeing is not necessarily representative of everything that's gone on in the story. And it really brings to mind a situation that I experienced a couple of years ago. Actually, that I, it's one of the things that I wrote about in the latest edition of my book, in the five-year anniversary edition of my book, The Sun Still Shines. I shared an experience that I had a few years ago and I had been at the time I was in California I was having surgery which I've actually done I think something like nine or ten not times now where I've had to travel out of my state and go and stay for a few weeks in California to go have surgery after this particular surgery it was moving a muscle from my leg into my face so at the conclusion of the surgery I had both the the scars and stitches on my face as well as on my leg so I wasn't actually able to move around very well. So when I was leaving the state and it was time for me to go home, I went to the airport and was being wheeled in a wheelchair to and from the gates in preparation to get on and off the plane. It's the context. <laughs> and then I got to the gate in my wheelchair and I see this other woman and she's sitting near me in the gate and she also had been wheeled up in a wheelchair and she was a little bit older she was a little bit haggard looking and yet in my opinion I looked at her and realized I judged her quickly and thought she was not dressed appropriately <laughs> for an older person she had um, like super short shorts very revealing and not in what I would have called very complimentary to her and I immediately made that judgment when I looked at her and then as it got time to board the plane and they said you know those that need assistance please board now and a couple of us who had been wheeled over in wheelchairs um, were allowed to board first now I was able to walk as was this woman she just we both had to go slowly so we got up and we're hobbling around she couldn't see what was wrong with me but she could see that I was limping a little bit and that I required some extra assistance and what I could see about her was that she had a process aesthetic leg. And as we were walking down the jetway to get on the airplane, I was struggling. I was having a hard time. I was moving really slowly. And the effects on my body were starting to show that I just had this big surgery. I was moving slowly. I was having a hard time. And here this lady who I had judged just a few minutes earlier, she looked at me and she said, it'll get better, hun. I promise it'll get better. And then she said, you know, there's a lot of people who don't know what's wrong with me. That when I am walking around, if they don't see that I have a prosthetic leg, I have been accused of being drunk. People have accused me of being sick, of being on medication because I walked funny. So now I always wear shorts so that people can see my prosthetic leg and give me a little bit of grace when I can't move around the way that they anticipate that I should. Holy moly, talk about hitting me at the core. A few minutes before, I had just judged this woman based on the very thing that she did intentionally to gain a little bit of understanding so that people could see her a little bit better. So I think one of the things that I have learned is we need to give people that grace, that understanding, and realize that no matter what we see, how much we think we know, the reality is we don't know. And there's always a story behind the situation and we need to give that person the opportunity to either share their story or to just refrain from judging because we don't know what their situation is, what they're going through, or how their lives have been impacted by the outside world. And it taught me in a very quick way that I needed to refrain from judging people and that I needed to be willing to give a little more grace to those around me.